Las Vegas. What's happening? AD with 98.5 KLUC. And today, right now, we have a very special guest in the building, uh, someone who was uh, was in the modeling industry for, uh, for an amount of time. Uh, swerved into fitness or was always into fitness um, and has uh, has since uh, delved into the, the marketing financial sector of the world. Shara, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank you. I appreciate you stopping by. And I'm going to I'm gonna give a little background real quick on how this uh, how this came to be. Um, so uh, I have to put this disclaimer out there. I am not a creep, uh, but I used to go to LVAC out here in Vegas on Flamingo one time for the gym. I love it there. Uh, and you see a lot of the same faces, very similar faces. Uh, and then I saw you on Instagram on the Explore page. I'm like, wait a second. I see her all the time. Let me, let me hit her up, see if we can make this happen. Um, and you were reciprocated the energy and now we are here so I appreciate that uh, what how long were you modeling for what got you into the modeling industry um, and uh, are there different types of modeling that you did or if that's even like a real thing um, well long story short I got into the modeling industry when I was about 14 15 years old I, I had a girlfriend that did it and it sparked my interest okay. so I started doing it um, I'm too short for runway okay. so I immediately only had one option which is print so I just started going to different modeling agencies here around town, getting, giving my picture, going on auditions. And then um, as I got older, I had a girlfriend that did Playboy and I thought that was so cool. Right. So she knew half and I went up to the mansion and actually asked him personally if I could wow. shoot for the magazine. And he said, sure, go ahead. And wow. so that's how it all started. <laughs> and so were you in an actual issue or was it a... Three, actually. Wow. I've done three different issues. I was Cyber Girl of the Year, one year. Um, I did a couple of videos, not like porn videos, just right. like just being nude in a video. It was right. just what Playboy style, classy, taste, tasteful. Yeah. Um, and I've done like FHM and a few like street customs, like cover of that. Um, these are these are big deal. These are big mm-hmm. names right here. You're, yeah. you're you're throwing out there. You're throwing out there very subtly though, but they're they're definitely yeah. pretty dope names. Um, how was Hef when you met him? How was he? I mean, oh, he's he's a, so brilliant. He's brilliant an iconic mind. figure in our world. I feel like. Yeah, he's just it's an amazing energy to be around that man because he's just so brilliant, and I was so intimidated by him. I'm not really intimidated by many people, but right. when I was around him, I was just. I, I, I was like at a loss for words. I didn't know what to ask him. I didn't want him to think that I was like a stupid kid. So starstruck he almost. Was just so, exactly. It yeah. happens. Damn, yeah. one time one time for half. Now uh, now you mentioned the word intimidated and this just came to my mind. Uh, do you have do you ever get like a problem with other women being intimidated by you? Or even guys for that matter, because I mean it, it, like I feel like a, a guys get intimidated too. So I mean, does do you ever, do you ever get that feeling from individuals? Yeah. Um it's hard to like pinpoint if it's intimidation or they're just being jerks. Okay. But I feel like a lot of the reason men are jerks women is because they are intimidated by them. And so that's how it comes off. It's secure. It's, it's kind of like a wall they put up. Um, most of my friends are guys because I feel like women are they're just rude and catty. And that's and that has to stem from insecurities and intimidation. I could see that. And yeah. is that do you, do you get that? Uh, did you see that a lot in the modeling industry? Or Surprisingly enough, not really. Okay, more so you know? outside of it. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. And like, were you always like in social life? So, oh, yeah. okay, that makes sense. Um, were you always into fitness as well? Like when you were doing modeling, did you jump into that like down the line? Fitness was after modeling. Okay, yeah. And where'd that come from? Was it just more like a, a vice? That came from the fact that I'm naturally a a bigger, a curvier girl. Okay. And so I knew that if I didn't want to take drugs to be thin which right. a lot of girls do then i have to really work my butt off literally and i just you know did some research had friends that were into fitness found out what i can take what i shouldn't take i took some shortcuts here and there but i we all do. you know yeah. yeah but i i put in the work okay and um the diet that's mainly so the kitchen is uh is the kitchen more is, where the abs are made <laughs> okay I, I, I feel like i've seen that on a meme somewhere yeah is uh what's harder then is it actually going to the gym putting in the work or maintaining that kitchen life that good eat that meal preparation yeah that's the the gym is like 20 percent of it it's wow yeah it's 80 percent your diet that hurts there so yeah it's hard it sucks okay it's hard now uh and and speaking on the gym um you know you go there and like you said you work your butt off uh, you put that work in. Do do you ever get approached by by individuals lurk, looking to talk to you or looking to get your number, take you on a date? Uh, is it or 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 are you not talked to at all? Um, most of the time, I'm left alone because I have that RBF face. That, <laughs> yes, that's real. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know, you get your handful of guys that get brave and they don't okay. care if you're working out. They just it's 
for their own personal preferences. <laughs> right? They, they don't want to step down. They don't. Yeah. They're uh, like, well, uh, I'm probably never going to see her again, so let me just try now, and it just comes off all bad. Okay. So <laughs> if someone, if someone, if only sees you at the gym, and then they're like, I don't want to talk to you at the gym. And then they were to see you on social media and they hit you with the message. Is that like trying to like talk to you in that manner? Is that like weird? It's not weird if I want, if I feel the same way back. It's okay. not weird. <laughs> I think women only say it's weird when they don't like the guy. But if it was a guy they were interested in, okay. they would be like, oh, yeah, totally. I'll talk to him. That's true. It's only weird when you don't feel that same way back. They same. call it weird, but it's not weird. Like, that's how we communicate. Okay. You that know? makes sense. No, I definitely follow. Uh, now, also at the gym, uh, what, what would outside of like the whole, unless this is the most common, um, but what's the most common question that you get asked when you are at the gym? <laughs> is my butt real serious yeah i swear to god and is this from both women and men oh and they ask if i'm a trainer wow yeah okay i could see that the trainer i could like that's a that's a valid question i feel like but but is your this people really ask that yeah oh oh and do you does that does that like make you mad or no because it's so common now okay that it, it actually flatters me okay so it's a good thing okay. yeah it's a good thing it doesn't it, it well it depends on what mood i'm in sometimes if i'm <laughs> just in like a are you serious mood right it, it upsets me but okay it's it's flattering that people think that it's fake okay that, <laughs> that, that makes sense i didn't think about it like that yeah um i guess you could say you work your butt off to put your butt on Remember? exactly i like that you know we, like we, we might have to put that on a meme as well yeah uh so you've also uh, dived into the whole marketing financial sector of, of the world um can you talk to us a little bit about that um what got you in that what made you pursue that Okay, well, um, growing up, that's my mom was in that business for three decades. She had 200, 200 offices in 31 different states. Wow. Um, she built it from the ground up. I, she couldn't even raise me at times. I had to live with my, grand, my grandparents because she was too busy building her business. She sacrificed a lot. And um, so I'm just kind of following in her first footsteps right now. Right. Um, what we do, we're in the mar- I'm in the marketing business and we market financial services. We help people build a stable future for themselves and their families. We are actually expanding our company right now, and we're looking for some ambitious people who are looking to make some extra income part-time or full-time. So if you'd like an amazing opportunity, please call my assistant at 702-595-9760. Boom. And how would you tie all three of these things together? So modeling, fitness, and your financial activity. Is there is there a common word? Is there something that they all, an area in which they all relate? consistency oh Ooh, okay i like that and i feel like that's something that you can apply towards life as yes, well yes yes oh, okay um and what is uh what is uh, uh what where, where can they reach you at where can everybody reach you at social media or is that best email or where can they find you at um my social media shara dot lee c-h-e-r-a dot l-e-i-g-h okay and i have a facebook page also Dope. i think that's under shara's world shara's world yeah okay it sounds like a website shara's world.com i, I wanted like. to start a website i feel like that's what it should be right i actually there. bought the the name on GoDaddy, but i didn't do anything with it yeah you haven't you haven't touched base with it yet no okay well i think we'll i think we'll <laughs> see that in the future um and uh, i have also have to ask uh what what is your what is your ethnicity for those who don't know um russian italian and puerto rican wow okay puerto rican first okay so that's yeah. like a combination that you don't like like all spicy right right like yeah you get, so i'm assuming you have a bit of an attitude in a good way possibly um, a little bit sometimes sometimes in a bad way but okay i've as i get older it gets better okay i, I, I feel the same way i have a, i'm i've been told i'm a bit of a hothead in certain instances mm-hmm. and i won't i won't agree to that at all uh but i would say as i get older it does get a little better or i steam down a little bit more yeah that makes sense yeah um and what is one thing uh well you've been in vegas for 25 years you said correct at least at yeah. least and uh do you still love it here I do. And what's one thing? What's what's a word you would use to describe Vegas? Oh, tempting. Okay, I like that. <laughs> and uh, and what's one thing you would leave the listeners, the viewers, with? Never give up on your dreams. <laughs> I like that. As simple as it is, that's real life, right? Yeah. There. I'm definitely a fan. Well, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, and uh, make sure you check out. Make sure you check out social media, financial stuff. Um, Vegas, we appreciate you, Shara. Ad, ninety-eight point five KLUC.